Well, hello again, everyone. Uh, Steve here, and today I wanted to do a reply video uh, on a comment somebody made a few days ago, and it was a, quite a long comment, and he asked me if I would comment on his comment. So I'll just go through here. The video was called, Is Justin Trudeau SH1T Soup? Question mark. And this was quite a long comment, and the one who made the comment, you will know I'm talking to you and, and everybody as well too. Basically says, hi Steve, uh, this is my updated argument against Marxism, socialism. Would you let us all, in brackets, your subs, know what you think about it? Okay, he starts out with E is equal to MC squared. And then I think he tries to define that by saying energy equals matter and matter is resource and useful resource equals value. I'm not sure what that means. My understanding of E, e equals MC squared is energy is equal to mass times the speed of light squared. So I'm not sure what where that's coming from, but he goes into a little bit of a discourse, it seems like, about energy. Energy can be cr cannot be created or destroyed. However, energy can be altered into different states. The altering of energy is a natural process. Um, I'm not a, a thermodynamics expert. Uh, I don't know if energy can be altered into different states. Certainly it can be used. I think that's what's, what he's getting at here. Which is So he says, humans uniquely have the ability to consciously alter energy by manipulating the natural, uh, the natural altering of the energy into something more useful. I think that's the gist of that is, is valid, although I'm not sure if we alter the energy or just use it. In other words, we heat up water and we capture the expansion of the steam say for example. So we're using the energy and we're capturing an effect of that and that movement resulting from the energy. I'm not sure if we're altering the energy. I, I could be wrong on that. So if we are directly. We get involved in it, I suppose, in the heating up or whatever. Um, okay, we use combinations of altered energy to produce goods, services, nature plus machine plus animal or human energy together with imp implemented ideas to alter energy to the exchange to an exchangeable good or service. I think the point here is that we, as I would say it, we, we, ga we gather some of the energy that we put, we produce something, and we call that a good or a service. Uh, that that kind of makes sense. I, I, don't know, I don't know if I agree on the, on the wording, but yeah, that seems to be valid. Human labor is, is an exchangeable service. Sure, of course it is. It's exchangeable, yeah. Uh, the cost of that is is an agreement between two parties at a time. Well, it could be more than two parties. It could be multiple parties, but it's an agreement. Yeah, I mean, that it can be exchanged, and it may not be agreed upon if it's a situation of, uh, you know, coercion or slavery or something like that. Let's look at nature. It is and should be a struggle to survive. I don't know if it should be. Uh, it often is. I mean, some people skate through life as uh, trust fund babies or something like that, so, and yet they live. Uh, when, we feed, when we feed wild animals, it actually could lead to the, yeah, I guess, I, I guess you're right, though, because so, it, it basically corrupts people if they're not, if it's not a little bit of a challenge. I guess I, I see the point there now. So if we feed wild animals, they um, it could lead to a collapse of the whole ecosystem. If you all art, artificially promote predator and parasite life strategies over prey, or even remove some of it, uh, it could lead to a devastating result. It could, yeah. I, I mean, you see that with, you know, that's why they say do not feed the animals in parks, I guess. It's because then they, then they start relying on it and then they could actually attack you because <laughs> you, you didn't feed them or something like that, right? So that could be devastational. Um, we have learned not to interfere with nature. We have, although we, by living, if we are natural, we're constantly interfering you could say or you know by our living we're involving nature and humans are just part of the animal kingdom I, I had pushed back a little bit on that because I you know I believe on the esoteric part of the divine aspect of ourselves we are uniquely human right we're not just intelligent apes although lots of times we behave that way but we're also human which I think in the origin means basically God man in a way so yes, we are, but we're, we're very unique in that way. Uh, there's a very good reason 
that there are signs that say do not feed the animals. Yeah. So I guess what he's getting at is that human beings, if, if, if animals can be corrupted by, by feeding them, so, so is, you know, if we're, if we're treating everybody as, as socialists, right, we involve, we feed them. Uh, socialism, communism promotes consumption over production. It will always overwhelm the ecosystem and and because of that fact. I think there's a lot of validity to that for sure, yeah, because you you are, uh, you know, you I mean the the idea is that for each according to their means, but if nobody's owns anything then then people are just taken out of the pot all the time and not putting in. So that makes sense there. Um, value of goods and services only partially gained by the worker. Um, I'm not sure what that means. I mean, as far as the goods and services of the worker is concerned, if the worker has agreed to get so many dollars per hour, then I guess if the state's stealing part of it, I'm not sure what that means, but um, I'm not, yeah, so I'd have to consider that. I have to, I'd have to, some of these points that you're making, I ha I'd have to get clarity on what you mean by them. Without a good, implement, uh, good implemented ideas and proper management, human labor is wasted. Sure. Yeah, lots of, lots of human labor. Um, the altering of energy is into pointless motion and heat. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I would say that lots of work is, is a waste. Uh, the person who can offer jobs and better standing li of living will offer good, will off useful goods and services at a price the market demands. Deserves every single, every single cent of his money. Well, I mean, that's sort of a... Uh, uh, it's a self, I don't know what you call that, I don't know what you call that in, in philosophical terms, but if it's his money, like if he deserves every sense of his money, if it's his money, like because obviously after he's paid all of his expenses and stuff like that, if it's actually his money, of course he deserves it. That's the idea of property. It's proper to him, right, I would say. I agree that workers at the bottom could be exploited. I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, I don't like that term exploited because after all, if two people have agreed or two or more people have agreed to exchange your value. I don't know how that's exploitation. And if they're slaves, they're not really considered to be workers in the typical sense uh, of a free market anyways. I don't know if I agree that people are exploited. But what is the alternative? Uh, the alternative is free trade, which there isn't exploitation, I would say. Uh, total collapse. Well, I mean, I guess this was the argument that um, the people who, who argued in favor of slavery I, I, against the abolitionists say what said was well, who's going to pick the cotton right we have to have this you know so I I don't know if I agree that there is exploitation if there's a free trade of stuff minimum wages are meant as a stepping stone to gain experience etc well the whole minimum wage concept is a government concept and it's uh, nonsense as far as I'm concerned a minimum wage is zero or it's, it's one penny or fraction or whatever the um, yeah, so I don't I don't agree with minimum wage as a as a concept. So, yeah. At the end of the day, we exchange our energy. Uh, we exchange our energy altered for other altered energies more useful. I would I I wouldn't even bother throwing in the altered energy. We just exchange goods and services. Uh, I, for, of course, yeah, you're, you make the point that we exchange it for something that perceived higher value for us, and if it's free trade, that's the case in both and both ways, right? So, um, the more money a person accumulates, the more successful the person has managed to alter the energy into something more useful for others. I'm not sure if that's true because some people are thieves. I mean, think of the Clintons. I mean, how much have they created as useful for humanity at large? But they've accumulated a lot of a lot of money, so they are as successful as you know professional thieves, I would say, but maybe not as people who produce value. Um, Value is energy altered into something useful, at least for the individual. Mm. I would say that value is just what people perceive as, as important to them. I'm not sure if they would get involved in thinking about whether it's altered energy and stuff like that. I, I'm not sure what this is. Money is value is value on overdraft. I would say that money is it's just a, it's a, um, a medium of exchange. In other words, rather than us exchanging, you know, uh, glasses for a teacup, uh, we, we exchange this intermediary as a silver coin or fiat currency or whatever. It's, and it's a store of value after all, because we could take that and hang on to it for a while and go buy food in a week's time. And it's still, we hope it, it has saved some value. I just call it that. Keep it simple. It's in a, 
medium of exchange. So, uh, energy finds the path of least resistance. Uh, yes, I would say so do humans. We need incentives, and that's I, I think we do. That's right. We need incentives, and um, that's why communist countries need to threaten people to produce. Yeah, of course, because they're a slave organization, right? And of course, even the slave is then is then acting on incentive of not being punished, right? So that that's why he moves. We are lazy at the core. I'm not sure if that's true or not. We are. We we if if we make the point that we respond to incentives, then that's not really laziness because and make the point here of that we would rather watch uh, Facebook than do something than split wood. Well, if we saw the incentive for splitting wood, we'd do that, right? So I mean, a lot of people don't have a lot of incentive today because they have been cooped up and, and bullied uh, so much that they say to hell with it. I'll just sit in the basement and watch watch Facebook or whatever, right? Um, jobs are, I know jobs are not easy to come by. Well, I think that depends on the, the atmosphere that we're in and the, and of course the, um, the exchange of value, what, what, like what we're asking for the exchange of value. I know I got an example of once I moved to this place, which had the lowest number of jobs in all of the country. And everybody said, there's no jobs there whatsoever. And within a week I was fully employed and I had to turn down work because I just adjusted the, the compensation, the, the medium of exchange for that value. And for what I was doing, there was lots of work there. So I'm not sure if they're extremely hard to come by, but in some cases, yes, yes. Sometimes you're stuck in a job that you don't enjoy and the money is not great. Sure. Every, uh, every individual must find a method to produce exchangeable value. If we want to survive in this world. Yeah, I would say, um, unless we're, we're thieves, of course, and then there's this different strategy. If the best message is sweeping the floor at the time, so be it. Yeah. I mean, we, we strive, we strive to survive, right? Um, a, a lion eats what it manages to catch, even though, uh, maybe not be its favorite. Okay. Uh, should we start farming lions favorite prey and tie it down? We weaken the species in a few generations. Uh, how long will the, po um, how long before the lion population will grow out of control? Um, we will not be able to, uh, will we be able to farm enough prey? Um, and I think maybe what you're getting at here is, is the whole communist concept, right? If we just continue to give people their bread, um, we end up having to ration the bread because you know, that people will, people over time, they will just, uh, rather get something for nothing. Yeah, that's true. A lot of people will. Um, and then finally, capitalism is voluntary exchange of altered energy. Like I say, I, I don't know if I'd even bother throwing the altered energy in there. I just say it's voluntary exchange. Uh, although capitalism is probably more than just voluntary exchange because in the typical sense, it's also the acquiring of those monetary values that you could then use later. So it's also the, the, the storing of value. It's exchanging and storing a value for a later time, right? The means of production is acquired by voluntary exchange of useful altered energy. I don't know if the, no, the means of production is not necessarily voluntary exchange because the communists own the, own the means of production and they certainly weren't all about voluntary exchange. Now, were they? So, um, but ideally it should be. Yeah, I would say. So yeah, there's a lot of good points in here and, um, I know I, I wasn't able to comment on them all because it, it goes on. You, you, you've actually got back to me a few other times, but, um, what do you think of that? I mean, it just some comments on, uh, on, on that, uh, uh, I'm not sure if it was directly related to, it wasn't the, the comment, unfortunately wasn't directly related to Justin Trudeau, I don't think, but it was just a comment on, um, on, I think overall what you're trying to get at here is that communism uh, softens people up and the point that you know we are we use energy you say we alter it i'd say we use it uh to produce value and that if we voluntarily exchange those values we're always we're always winning in a way if it's completely voluntary so we we put value in to create something a good or a service and then we can exchange that for something that's even, it's even better for us. And we can constantly grow that. Whereas if we just receive, we kind of recede back. Whereas by, by free voluntary exchange, we're constantly growing sort of like evolutionary in terms of our, 
uh, the value accumulated, whereas communism is the opposite. We're getting stuff without putting that energy in for free sort of thing, like the fattened up lions, and so they're going to constantly regress. If that's a summary of my understanding of what you're saying. So yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know what the conclusion is here, but I agree that, um, yeah, communism is not great. <laughs> Socialism is SH1T as well. Steve, so again, if you like what I'm doing, please like, subscribe, and share. We'll talk again soon. Bye for now.